Okay guys, I just wanted to give you an overview of the anesthesia machine because a lot of our uh, points of failure for IBUS may happen from loose connections. So this is the anesthesia machine itself. Obviously this is the PC that the doctor will be using to document anesthesia. The um, unit for the PC is mounted on the side of the anesthesia machine. It's got a network cable that will go back to the uh, boom that I'll show you in a little bit. And down below it here is the, mon the unit for the solar monitor. And there's also a cable going from the back of this to the boom that I will show you as well. That could be a point of failure. So the two monitors here, the top one is the solar. It's got the physiological data. And the bottom one is for the ACES machine. When the anesthesiologist is um, connecting to the monitor so that they can get their data at the beginning of the case. The stickers have been placed on the solar as the anesthesia machine itself. So the name here is the name they need to choose when they're associating the monitor at the beginning of the case to get the data into the record. So moving to the back of the machine, we'll start with the solar cable. So there's the mounted PC with the network cable, and there's the solar um, machine with the blue network cable coming out of the back. And on the boom, it connects into this red hood here. So we want to make sure that if they start losing the physiological data, that the uh, connection here is secure and the connection at the back of the machine that's mounted to the anesthesia machine is good. The other connection that we're worried about is the DA or the dongle. This is for the ACES data, so if they start to lose gas data, there's a couple connections here at the back of the machine to make sure that is tight. And also this USB here can come loose, so you want to make sure that is secure. And then the connectivity engine itself is going to be stored in the back of the machine. There's a cabinet there. So this is the connectivity engine. The other end of the USB is here. This is the network cable, and this is the power. And you want to make sure those are secure as well. And the network cable for both the PC and the connectivity engine are here. They are interchangeable, so as long as they're secure, we should be good. All right, that's